Hey guys, welcome to Thrive and Drive. We are here in Palo Dura Canyon State Park. Was birth from ashes straight to my heart. I'd never noticed, but you were never there, you were never there. Hey, you give me roses, set me apart. All I feel was bliss, but you were never there, you were never I want us to be what we used to be this night. Baby, just another fight, but you don't wanna see me cry. There's no way that it's never going there I think it better and I swear I'll follow you no matter where Hey everyone, welcome to Thrive and Drive. We are here in Palo Duro State Park uh, in Canyon, Texas. About It's south of Amarillo. And we are here um, hanging out and enjoying biking trails, hiking trails. It's a very beautiful place. But that's not what we're here about. Um, today we're going to be talking about uh, tiring, a tire monitoring system. Um, something that I know a couple episodes ago would have probably helped us out um, with monitoring our tires and uh, um, the heat coming off of our uh, bearings and axles. The whole brake assembly and everything pretty much came out. The bearings are sitting out here on the ground. Um, so yeah, it's a fantastic day in the neighborhood here with the Johnsons. Um, we, we actually have friends of ours that use it and, uh, we've met a lot of people that are on the road that use this system. And, um, uh, anyways, so if you get on, um, RV techno, techno, techno RV.com, we are full time RVers and, uh, and, and me and my wife, Tammy, own this company, techno RV.com. And so we do go to a lot of the RV shows because we like to uh, be face to face with our customers to hear what they're having to say with technology changes a lot. So we, yeah. we like to hear like, uh, what are the next things that you're wanting out there as a customer? And we try to make adjustments uh, to the market like that. Uh, we do have a website, technorv.com, and our office and warehouse is located in Mobile, Alabama. We ship six days a week. Uh, they have this system. It's a, wise, uh, a wife and husband um, that runs that company, and they're fabulous, great people. So I definitely encourage you to check them out, um, technorv.com. Um, but uh, what it is, is if you look, um, if you want to get any product information, actually, if you go to their website, which is tsttruck.com, again, that's tsttruck.com, you can go to the website and it gives you a lot of great information about how the system works. Um, it's real-time information. Um, the great thing about this, there's a lot of um, tire monitoring systems that are out on the market, but this one's fantastic for campers, RVs, or anything that's like really long, especially long trailers. Um, it has a repeater that you can hook onto the battery, and then that will give you a strong signal to go to the um, to the instrument that actually reads and gives you the real time information of what's in your truck. Um, so I'm going to do an unboxing here in just a minute, but to show you what's supposed to be in here, what's supposed to be in here is that we got a repeater. You've got your uh, uh, digital display. You've got your four monitoring systems for your for your tires. For us, that's all we needed was just the four. Um, and then a couple ways to put your little uh, digital display inside your vehicle. You can either set it this mat and then stick your monitor in it, or you can put it on the windshield. So either way. Um, but I wanted to show you kind of what it looks like. Um, so you can also see what you're getting um, in the in the box and so um some of the things that you can use this for um i know i have a lot of friends of mine that um that i have farmer friends that are farmers i have friends that have uh like a lot of friends that have trailers um i have a buddy of mine that owns a construction company i can see where they could use something like this um because that this little dig digital readout will actually read up to i believe up to four trailers um, so you could put that in your truck and then drive past all your trailers and make sure all the tires are up to, up to par, um, let you know that they all have, uh, the correct pressure in them. Um, so that's something that can be very handy, uh, for a person that has a company, um, that is towing trailers and they're having to haul equipment. Um, it tells you, uh, right on the box, RVs, motorhomes, trucks, vans, trailers, cargo, 
um, agriculture, and a whole lot of other things. Um, the PSI for the monitoring system, I think this goes up to, it ranges from 1 to 218 PSI. Um, the battery life is supposed to be up to two years, um, but to me, depending on the weather, where you're at, um, who knows on how really how long it could last. But um, for us, I really feel like this is something that could really help us out. I could say, think it also could potentially save lives. Just from the standpoint of uh, me being able to keep track of uh, the tire pressure, uh, making sure we don't have a blowout or if we're losing air really quickly, lets me know real quick that I need to get that tire changed out. Or if the bearings are getting too hot, if you watched a couple episodes ago, we lost an axle. All right. So there it is. Our new axle. I don't want to go through that again. I'd rather lose a bearing. Bearings are easy to replace versus an axle. Uh, so this is something that can really help you out. So real quickly, we'll go ahead and do this un unboxing so you can actually see what type of equipment you get um, in this product. Well, it's like uh, handy dandy stickers. Um, stickers are always fun. So that's that's one thing that goes in the box. All right, comes out of the box. So I'll stick it right there so you can see it. Uh, looks like your instruction manual. So yeah, wireless tire pressuring monitoring uh, system. So yeah, so you can get that little book. Uh, warranty information, how you set up your warranty. So I've got a. I'll have to do that. Um, another bell stems. Um, looks like a plug in, so you can plug your digital screen in. Um, some gaskets. So stuff's a little baggy. Your repeater goes on your battery. For us, it would go on an RV battery um, to re so that it's in between the truck uh, and the RV to kind of pick up the these little monitors to repeat the to repeat the signal to then go to our display. So that's kind of cool. Uh, there's a couple of little things here. Some stickers. Um, it looks like to mark which tire goes where on your system, but that's everything in the box. Um, real quickly, I'll show you. Box is empty. Oh my goodness! You can see right there. That's that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much everything. So. Um, I am going to install this and then I'll do another quick video so you can kind of see what my installation looks like. Um, so if you have a camper, um, if you like what I did, you can um, put it on your camper the same way. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always send me a um, you know question, you know, just ask, ask me a question on Thrive and Drive and I'll make sure and be able to answer that for you. Um, also, if you're not a part of Thrive and Drive, Please join a family, hang out with us. Uh, you know, you guys, the people that watch Thrive and Drive, it is always awesome to hear your encouragement. It's always awesome to hear um, hear from you. I love getting the phone calls from the people that give me a call, my friends. Um, but it's it's great. Hopefully, uh, the information that we have is helpful. Uh, you know, I didn't have all the information right off the bat. If I knew about this in the very beginning, we'd have probably stuck it on the camper. Um, we had seen this product before, um, but sometimes things can be very gimmicky and it made me ask a lot of questions. Do I need it? Do I not need it? And I know for a lot of people that it's kind of the same thing. Do I really need something like this? And in our case, with us being on the road and this is our house, um, for me, um, the piece at mine is worth it because anytime I'm driving down the road, that's always one of my big concerns is I don't want to have a blowout, especially if I'm in a lot of traffic. And um, if I can monitor that and save a tire, um, it's worth its weight in gold. If I can save a if I can save an axle, that's thousands of dollars. This is a couple hundred bucks, a couple hundred dollar investment, thousands of dollars. I mean, you know, for an axle, to me, it's worth it. Um, also, when I weigh my options. You know, I can't replace my kids. I can't replace my wife. I can't replace myself. So it's worth it. Uh, so I look at, you know, the vehicle, tearing up a vehicle. Um, it's worth it. So um, to me, weighing all the options, uh, it's worth it. Uh, I believe that this is something, if you're thinking about going full-time on the road, or if you're a weekend warrior, uh, and you like to take um, long-distance trips, 
this is definitely something that I think that it's a great investment. Um, just to be able to help protect yourself, protect your family, protect your equipment that you've purchased, you spent your hard-earned money on. So check it out. If you like this video, please um, subscribe, like, hit the bell so you get notifications when I do a new video or if I do a new product um, review. Um, so you'll get all that information. You can also just kind of watch us on our journey. Uh, my wife has a blog, so you can check her blog out. It's thriveindrive.com. And then also, uh, and of course, you can always find us here on YouTube. Um, follow us. Oh, Facebook too. Um, we're on Facebook, so check us out on Facebook. Um, we'll drop pictures and of places where we're at. And so it's always great to hear from people. And uh, so hopefully you stick with us. Um, please stick with us because I still got to put this on my truck and I got to put it on the camper so you can actually see the end of this. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, we did the unboxing. And um, now I want to go show you, go show everyone how we put the tire pressure monitoring system, the TST monitoring system, actually on our camper. Um, we've had it on it for our, on our camper for quite a while, uh, which has been great. We actually were in Georgia, and we noticed that the temperature was starting to go up. We pull over to a rest stop, and come to find out, um, one of our outer bearings were going out. So it was a really easy fix. I actually had a set of bearings on me. So it took a couple hours, pulled off the bearings, put the new ones in, and got us back on the road. If I would have left that on there, we'd have probably ended up like we did when we were up in Vermont. Uh, we were stuck on the side of the road with a tore up axle. So uh, the good thing was is that um, we had the, the tire pressure monitoring system. Again, it's one of these things. It is definitely worth having in your vehicle, especially if you're full time on the road. So to kind of show you the little tire pressure monitoring systems that uh, the little gauges that you actually put on your valve stems. Here, I'll show you real quickly. I'm gonna crawl underneath here. You can see them. They're right there. So they just screw on. There's a little nut on the back side that tightens up against it so that um, it keeps this from accidentally coming off. Battery life, um, so we've had this on our, um, on our camper now for almost two years. I know, right? It's kind of crazy. So two years and what we have found is the battery lasts for about a year. Um, again, I still say it depends on the weather, um, what type of weather you're in a lot of. Um, okay, so the, the repeater, as you can tell, we just screwed it onto the frame. So it's between the screen that we watch, the monitor um, that's inside, um, and the tires, the little sensors, so that that repeater will pick up the signal because our camper is so long, and then basically pushes it up further so that we um, are getting real-time signal from our tire pressure monitoring system. And of course, we have it tied into our battery. The little cord here goes actually up in and then comes over that little less small black cord is what is a tire pressure monitor system and it's just tied onto the battery pretty simple um let's go ahead and look in the truck real quick uh our little screen um we don't use a suction cup that much um we actually use um we use uh the little pad a whole lot more um it's just a whole lot easier from the standpoint of being able to just pick it up and look at it. Uh, um, and then if the great thing about it, about it is, is that the battery on this is rechargeable. So, and it lasts for a long time while we're driving on the road, we don't even have to worry about charging it so much. Um, but plugging in every, plugging it in every once in a while, charging it up. Um, when we're not, when it's not in use, um, we'll just take it and just put it in our glove compartment. So we don't have to worry about it, look at it, not have to worry about it just getting knocked out of the truck on accident or something just because we do have it on the little gray little pad here. Um, but we found that that little gray pad's a whole lot easier than you putting a suction cup up on the glass and then, you know, um, it being in the way of our view uh, of looking out of the truck. So um, that's what it looks like on a vehicle. Um, again, it's been fantastic just from the standpoint of really keeping a close eye on our tires, keeping a close eye on um, uh, the, the temperature of the tires so that we know that if we're actually going to have a problem with the bearings. So, yes, highly, highly recommend 
uh, getting this and putting on your uh, putting on your camper so you can monitor your uh, tires and your bearings uh, real time anyways hey uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video um, I would if you can do me a favor like if you have any comments or questions we've had this like I said on the on the um, on our camper for quite a while now um, so if you have any questions please feel free to reach out touch bases with us if you have a camper um, if you have the system and you have a comment or you like it um, share it because other people we want to encourage other people to be safe while they're on the road anyways I'm gonna go ahead and get off here uh, you guys, thank you so much for being a part of Thrive and Drive, and we'll see you soon. Bye.